This conference will now be recorded. So uh, uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, invoice variances and uh, blocking reasons. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there we will see how to enter the invoices with variances with variances circumstances under which the system blocks the invoice we will see that hosting for standard and moving average priced stock material okay then we will see invoice reduction account movements during invoice reduction and invoice reduction without reference to an item then we will see the releasing the invoices manually at item level or header level release an invoice automatically and workflow in an invoice release so these are the ones we will be covering in the invoices blocking okay so first we'll start with the entering invoices with variances okay so what happens is one of your vendors sometimes sends an invoice for a higher amount than that agreed upon in the purchase order sometimes the vendor might include the entire quantity on the invoice although you have not yet received all the goods okay so in these kind of scenarios you need to block invoice to ensure that you don't pay the vendor until these differences have been corrected okay for very small variances it is not worth performing extensive research for these reasons you can set up tolerance limits for each type of variance i will show you this in the system okay if the tolerance limit is not met the system issues a relevant message you can post the invoice and it is not blocked for payment okay if the tolerance limit is exceeded the system issues a relevant message you can still post the invoice in the system but it is automatically blocked for payment Okay, so this is the one you see here. Let's say you have a purchase order, you received the material, okay, and then vendor sends the invoice. And let's say you have some tolerances defined in the system. I will show you this in the system. Let's say you define tolerance, let's say 10%. Okay, it is for the higher quantity or higher price, or it is for the lower quantity or lower price. Let's say you define a tolerance as 10%. So within this tolerance, system will not, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, will not block the invoice within this tolerance. But outside of this tolerance, system will uh, block the invoice. It will pose the invoice, but it will block it. Block it for payment. You will get a message like block it for payment. Okay. So uh, this we will say it in the system. Okay, so. I'll show you the scenario like suppose let's say you have a purchase order. Okay, let's say the purchase order quantity is 100 pieces. Okay, and uh, the price is let's say uh, okay, this case quantity, right? Okay, now you did the goods receipt. Let's say first vendor delivered the partial quantity. Let's say he delivered uh, 80 pieces. Let's say he delivered 80 pieces. Okay, now, but he sends the invoice. Invoice, let's say for 100 pieces. He delivered only 80 pieces, but he sends the invoice for 100 pieces. So in this kind of scenario, system has to block the invoice. Okay, I will show you. The other scenario is this is quantity variance. Here the here the here the problem with quantity. Okay. Now another scenario is price. Another scenario is like the price variance. So let's say price. Okay, so let's say you're, you have a purchase order. 100 pieces the price is let's say 5 euro per piece let's say 5 euro per piece okay so now let's say vendor delivered full quantity vendor uh, delivered full quantity okay but invoice amount should be as per the purchase order the invoice amount should be 500 euro 
okay 100 rupees 5 euro per piece so it should be 500 euro but let's say he sends an invoice let's say for 550 550 euro 550 euro here now at quantity he sends an invoice for 100 pieces only but the price is let's say he sent he mentioned it as 550 euro then in these kind of scenarios system has to block the invoice for payment it will pose the invoice but finance team cannot pose the, cannot make the payment okay so these kind of scenarios how to handle we will see it in the system okay so you have a lot of variances like quantity variance price variance purchase order price purchase order price quantity variance even date variance also there but i will show you both quantity variance and price variances in the system okay so first we'll start with the quantity variance so as i just explained this is the one okay you have a purchase order you have a purchase order for 100 pieces with 10 10 euro per piece so first vendor delivered 50 pieces gr done for 50 but he sends the invoice for 80 pieces 80 pieces then comes a problem okay so then system will block the invoice and the blocking reason will be quantity quantity okay so now we will see this in the system so let me log in okay first of what i will do is i will go to the configuration first okay so let me check the limit sum go to materials management okay go to logistics invoice verification okay go to invoice block okay here you will see set tolerances limits if you go there i'll come to this again okay our company code is thousand click on position go to company code thousand okay so for quantity it is a dq i I'll, I'll, will discuss this tolerance case in a minute let me select this if i go to details you see this is for lower limit and this is for upper limit already the limit is there check limit this this tolerances you can maintain maintain in two ways one is absolute value another one is percentage absolute value should is here it is maintained 100 and uh, percentage is maintained 20 okay so now we will see this in the system so let me create a pivot okay in may 21 n okay vendor i'll enter the vendor material quantity let me put 100 plant 1000 okay so this is the one not sure why it is taking usd yes vendor which currency changed or it okay let's see let's let's see what happens okay so quantity pure quantity is 100 with 5 usd per piece okay so now let me save the PO. PO is created this is a PO. okay okay but in the meantime let me go to PO once So I'll, I'll save the PO. Okay, now let me do the GR. Okay, I will do the GR of the uh, partial quantity. Me go, I will do. Okay, enter the purchase order. Okay, so let me do it for, uh, let me do it for uh, 50, 100 means I'll do it for 50 liter. Okay, half a amount. Okay, check. Okay, he's asking the date of production.
Okay, check again. That's okay. So now I'll post the GR. So now 50 quantity we received it. Okay, 50 quantity we received. So this is a, let me open the purchase order in another screen. So if I go to purchase order history, 50 quantity is received. PO quantity was 100 and the quantity we received is 50. Okay. So now let me let us do the invoicing. 